Hello and welcome to I Am Geek, and this is episode 136, and it's that time of the year again. The Geekies have arrived for our 2020 version, so we will be reviewing, going over the movies from 2019. You guys voted, we put up a poll, so many of you voted. <laughs> it, uh, it's more, <laughs> more fingers than I can count with. Yeah. <laughs> so we have an outcome. <laughs> um, you guys decided on who would be the winner of each category. Some categories are normal, some categories are weird, because that's the way we are. A little normal, a little weird, mostly geeky. <laughs> Katrin's the little normal. What? What? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> How dare maybe you, we're all, sir. Maybe we're all weird. Maybe there's no normal at all in this, no. in this group. Group of amigos. <laughs> Anyways. Woo! Excitement. Woo! So this is where the music would come in the background, ushering me off the stage. I We normally have music for uh, the Geekies. This year we did not have music for the Geekies. Oh. There, oh. It, we got a letter. A cease and desist yeah, letter? Yeah. Yeah, they said no music. Just because they didn't want to hear you? Or? Yeah. Yeah. The letter came from me. <laughs> the letter came from oh. No, oh. it's been a crazy crazy time this year, so I haven't had time to record songs. But if you want to hear me try to butcher some songs, go back to last Geekies. <laughs> 2019 version. Yeah, just jump back and forth between this one and last year's. Mm. Listen for this one for a while, then jump and listen to a song in that one, then yeah. jump back to this one. I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you what songs were nominated this year. You guys even know? I I don't know. <sighs> I doubt they were any good. I think there was an Elton John song. What? Um, I'm sure there was a Disney one, probably from Frozen 2. Into the unknown. Uh, no. That was not I, me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really jumped ahead of that one. Make sure no one knew that was you. <laughs> 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 oh man I started to type in the songs from the geekies and that would not pop up with anything oh I really? there's no see. search option <laughs> <laughs> interesting mm. uh, yeah, I, yeah I'm pretty sure in the unknown they did it and they had like multiple languages singing it like from the oh. elses that performed for every country oh think. really I think so. I didn't watch it. Uh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I think so. I didn't watch it. I may have dreamed that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I may be dreaming all this right now. I don't know where I'm at. What day is it? Who knows? Who am I? What am I doing here? Oh, Who wow. am I? What's going on? <laughs> so there was also a song from Toy Story 4 that was nominated. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah. I didn't. I don't. I don't even remember a song from that I, movie. I can't let you throw yourself away, man. I would have had fun with these <laughs> <laughs> on there's, the spot. Let's do it. There's still time. Go right uh, now. Give, I'm standing give with it. you. From give us a poetry read of a song. Go. Um, into the unknown. Into the stand up. <laughs> Well, we got Catron <laughs> singing this year. You don't need me. Uh, I, 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 I think uh, I Love no. Me Again by Elton John was a Elton John. Oh. That one that one win? That one may have won. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, probably. <laughs> I Dude. can't let you throw yourself away before you pay me all the money that you owe me. Mm, that was mm-hmm. it. There you go. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. I think that was it. It, was That's that by winner. Randy Newman? Yeah, yeah, that had the Randy Newman. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of Bob Dylan. A little bit of Dylan. Now I could do Into the Unknown all day long because I hear it like fifty times a day. Ah, now repeat. Uh, uh, oh gosh! <laughs> like my daughter will do it. Like she'll hey, like she'll be the. <laughs> She'll be in the back seat, and you'll hear her go. You'll hear her go, ah, and then I'll do it back to her. Go, ah, 
song? She'll go, shh, that's my song. <laughs> that's my song, not yours. <laughs> that, that's what they should have done. They should have had Bob Dylan do that. Yeah. Song. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys really if all our listeners really want songs for next year's geekies let us know on our twitter at i'm geek show or on facebook or on instagram or wherever or just email us at i'm geek show at gmail.com and let us know hey we missed the songs this year i mean we we gave them some yeah. all right yeah. i guess but yeah we'll do more We'll see. We could have a whole episode on songs. Yeah, we did, didn't we? <laughs> no. On about well, that was our desert island songs or music. Uh, no, musicians. What? Uh, albums. Yeah. Album. No, musicians. No. Yeah, it was musicians. Artists. 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 Musical artists. Which next week it's coming back. Our desert island. We're going back to the island. <laughs> see if anybody survived. And we're going to do the uh, our top five video games that we would take to a desert island. Just like Arrow, is... we're going back to Lee and You. Ah, is that what it's called? Our island? Lee and You, yeah. yeah. I thought our island was called something different. Uh, I don't know. I don't know Goofball either. Island. <laughs> Goofball, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into the geekies. <laughs> Enough for plugs. Plug in all our stuff. Um... Are we starting from the top? From the top. I guess that's the best place to start. <laughs> start from the top. There Remember, you guys voted on this, so if you don't like the outcome and you mm. didn't vote... Shame on you. Yeah, it's not our fault. should have voted. should have voted. We put it out there. We mentioned it like a couple times. <laughs> if you don't like the outcome and you did vote, then you should have voted twice. I don't know. Could they do that? It happened. No, you can't unless you could get on a different device. Oh, see, you could have got on multiple devices. You could have yeah. stacked the the ballot boxes. Your computer, your phone, your watch, your carrier pigeon. I don't know. No. Could have went to the library. <laughs> could have went to the Apple store. Mm-hmm. Okay. Could have went to all the computers in the Apple store. That's what we should have done. We should have went to the Apple store and then just opened it up on all the computers. Just wow. left it there. Perfect. Hmm. Oh well. Maybe next time. Mm-hmm. All right. Who wants to go oh. first? Who's our first presenter? Drum roll, please. Sure. Oh. 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 There's two presenters. Oh, oh they're they're oh, presenting no. together. <laughs> Present together at the same time. <laughs> Give us your little stick. Little stick. Yeah. If you're doing it together, you got to have some back and forth. You know, like oh, how the they category made like, you know, of how, best dance yeah. scene. Okay, there we go. <laughs> look, look, look at look at all the people here tonight. There, I, I wonder if I, they I, like to dance. Yeah, I see Ryan Street out there. Where he he's a he's a dancer. Look yeah. at him <laughs> laughing. Yeah, let me hold a mic up to you. Sing something. I floss with the best of them. Oh, there you go. That works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the nominees are the nominees are you, you guys this is yours Lego Movie 2 the second part this song's gonna get stuck inside your head how does that song your go? head head your head <laughs> <laughs> Jumanji the next level the dance fight Joker the stair dance not where he's like staring at somebody right no, it's stairs. Like you walk oh, down stairs. Yeah, I, I saw that movie this weekend or this week. Oh. So that's exciting. Well, maybe it'll win. It will we will find out. Mm-hmm. And last, Aladdin, Prince of Ali, number. No, that's <laughs> number. not right. <laughs> Prince Ali. Prince yes. Ali. Sorry. Prince, Prince Ali, Ali. No. number. I got Prince thrown off by the number part, but it's number. Prince Ali. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Ali Ababwa. I had, a, I had a discussion with somebody about that song this last week, and uh, her name is Nicole. She came yes. to visit. I, I, I said, I'm saying her name because she says, I'm going to listen to your show, and she, she doesn't. Um, she told me not to bring so that up. Like We went to Rodeo Go to eat, and we are talking about the podcast, 
And she's like, he's like, I, I haven't listened to it. I keep telling Ryan I'm going to, but I haven't. Don't bring it up. Cause, <laughs> uh, cause he'll make fun of me. I didn't, I didn't bring it up, but I'm bringing it up now. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. she started, she started singing the lyrics to the song and it was like nowhere near the lyrics to the song. And I was like, that's not how that song goes. She goes, yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm like, no, there's no, I think she said something about drowning in water. Mm. And I'm like, no, he doesn't yeah, it's, drown in it's water. A, it's a really depressing song. Yeah. It's about True. this prince drowning in wa- water. Yeah. So I looked at the lyrics that showed her and she's like, well, that's, that's wrong. And I'm like, <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, like, uh, so anyway, the winner. <laughs> oh, what's, oh, we're doing that now. Okay. Who's the yeah, winner? So, well, I mean, we, we went through all the. Well, who won? Um, oh, am I, am I doing the winner? I guess yes, so. You can do the winner. Oh, we're so coordinated here. <laughs> um, and the winner of Best Dance goes to. I'm opening the envelope for him. I have mine on the screen it's here. A, I don't have any envelopes. <laughs> oh, no. You didn't, no, you well, didn't get the envelopes? We sent in, them. Yeah, they're in lock boxes, so no one can read them. Oh. Uh, but anyway, the winner, because everyone's anticipating this, is. <laughs> like, get on with it. <laughs> Joker, the stair dance. Mm. With, how, with how much? How many percent there? <laughs> with thirty nine point one percent. Followed Ooh. closely by Aladdin, the Prince Ali oh, number. Prince of <laughs> Prince, Prince of Ali, Ali. <laughs> uh, with twenty six point one. <laughs> what did you guys yeah. vote for? Uh, I, I did vote for Joker stair dance. It was it was just kind of out there and different i don't know i think i think i voted for lego movie 2 because that was the only movie on this list i no, i saw aladdin as well but um i voted for lego movie 2 at the time mm-hmm. oh i think i voted for the dance fight scene <laughs> <laughs> that was a good scene nice i think i didn't vote for joker because it was just depressing <laughs> very depressing <laughs> well, he, was he was very happy at that point I was trying to find a funny moment. You know, we were trying to think of a funny moment, uh, that category we have, and uh, in a serious movie. I think we took it out this year, right? We changed it to just funniest moment in a movie. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I couldn't find a funny moment. I, I, there were a couple of times like, no, that's probably not supposed to be funny or at all. <laughs> so, I'm just yeah. an evil person. <laughs> there was some, yeah, there was some dark humor. Very not necessarily dark. laugh out loud hilarious, well, but more of the, I can't, wow, that happened. <laughs> and here accepting well, the award for best dance show is... Um, Joaquin Phoenix's hairdresser. Come on in. Oh. Hello, boys. How you doing? <laughs> so good to be here. Oh, my goodness. I mean, when I walked in and saw him, I was like, I'm going to do this hair right. It's going to look so good. And when he's dancing, it's just going to it's gonna flop like, li- like, like limp spaghetti. Limp green spaghetti just em- flopping around. People are gonna love it. Uh, anyway, I I got a cab waiting outside. Thank you so much. Um, I'll, I'll let him know he won. Uh, bye, bye, boys. <laughs> no, congratulations. Nice. Yeah, she was nice. What was her name? Or was it him? Was it Harvey uh, Harvey oh, Weinstein was, or something? Uh, no, that was Jeanette. Jeanette. Hairdresser. So, is there going to be somebody accepting an award for all of these? Probably not. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe <Never> so. <laughs> uh, I'm sure they won't all be the same person. <laughs> I bet other people will be accepting them. <laughs> let's let's move right along to. I guess I'll take this one since this is sort of my wheelhouse, brother. <clears throat> okay. Huh. Best wrestler turned actor. Uh, oh yeah, I think it's the same people except we added one because we felt bad that it was the same people. Yeah, <laughs> we added a female. Yeah, we added a female. John so we, Cena. We had. Uh... <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh snap! It's not even. Oh, I don't see him. Where's he at? You can't see me. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what that reference is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see him. He's he's Terrible. invisible. 
Ah, okay. Can't see me. It's this little thing. Anyways. <laughs> All right. The nominees are The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, Dave Batista, John Cena. What was John Cena in? I don't even remember. <laughs> We just assumed uh, he was in a movie. I think he was a, he was a firefighter, like watching over some kids in a movie. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know the name of it. I don't either, <laughs> but yeah, it was about fire firefighters. And Zelina Vega, that's our female one. She was from Fighting with My Family, um, which is funny. She got she got more votes than John Cena did. Yes, she did. <laughs> well. I mean, <laughs> I didn't even register how many John Cena got. Well, it, it couldn't see it. Yeah, it couldn't see. <laughs> but if you mouse over it, you'll see that he got four point three percent, which is one vote. <laughs> <The> one vote. <laughs> <laughs> Who voted for John Cena? That's what I want to know. If you're listening and you voted for John Cena, let us know. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Anyways, and the winner with sixty point nine percent. Of the vote was Hulk Hogan. Oh. No, wait. No, he's not on the list. Was, I mean, you could pretty much guess who it was. The highest paid action star in the world, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Woo! Woo! (laughs) Another award for The Rock. Good job. (laughs) He's taking them all home. He's taking them all home. I I I don't know if anybody's accepting an award for him. Um, um I, I I I think his his bodybuilding coach. Oh, <laughs> he's coming in. Oh, here um, he comes! Here he comes! Oh, thank you so much um, <laughs> for this award. I'm here on behalf of the Rock, and um, you got. We just love to pump the irons <laughs> and <laughs> do the squatty squats and. He's so strong and he's the best and I taught him everything he knows and I did the eyebrow before he did the eyebrow and fanny packs rock good night everybody oh that's wow. that, this that is getting bad already his, <laughs> that that wasn't his bodybuilding coach I'm sorry that was his vocal coach <laughs> anyways so yes the rock wins again no no <clears throat> real no real surprise there because he's like in, he's like in literally every mo- action movie. That there is. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So if you don't like one of his movies, just see another one. And I like that one. I like that one. He was really funny in um, the new Jumanji movie. Mm. Yeah, like in he was acting like he was Danny DeVito. Was mm-hmm. That was good. It was mm. <laughs> All right. Speaking of wrestling and fighting. Uh, <laughs> The character you wouldn't want to fight. Now, this one has a lot, a lot to go through here. Mm. A lot to go through. Who wants it? You want me to do it, or who wants to do it? I'll do it. Oh, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> uh, so for the category character you wouldn't want to fight, the nominees are Pikachu from Detective Pikachu, Captain Marvel from you guessed it, Captain Marvel, <laughs> uh, Brightburn Kid. Don't really know his name from Brightburn. Uh, <laughs> Pennywise from It Chapter 2. Geralt? 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 So, yes. Yeah. Depends on what part that, of the uh, world you're from. Yeah. Okay. The Witcher from The Witcher, basically. <laughs> <laughs> the Mandalorian from The Mandalorian. John Wick from John Wick Chapter 3. Mm. And... Lastly, but not leastly, uh, <laughs> Dr. Smolder Bravestone from Jumanji 2. And the third category that we've done, we've only done three, and The Rock has been in, in it in the category some form or another. Yes, he's everywhere. <laughs> he's, I think he's in every category. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. We love him here. We love The Rock at IMD. <laughs> if do. you're listening... I'm sure The Rock Mr. is. Mr. Johnson... You are welcome on the show anytime. Do you smell huh. what the geekies are cooking? It's the rock. I'm huh. sure he appreciated that. He did. Okay. He loves that. <laughs> and the winner for character you wouldn't want to fight 
based on all the people voting that they didn't want to fight hmm. was Captain Marvel from Captain Marvel. Wow. 37.5% of the vote. 37.5%. People I mean, would rather fight Pennywise. <laughs> well, I, I mean, did girl. you see the movies? Because <laughs> basically, the way they defeated Pennywise, well, yeah, he just, they yeah. just made fun of him. That'd be a bully. Aww. And he was like, <laughs> oh, why do you make fun of me? I'm dying. Yeah, just, there's a lesson for you, kids. Yeah, be the bully. No, don't be the bully. <laughs> well, you don't get eaten by a clown. Yeah. So who did you guys vote for? I voted Captain Marvel. I I actually voted the Brightburn kid <gasps> from Brightburn. I did too, and I hadn't even seen because, that movie. Because <laughs> I mean, if you see that movie, the horrible things that he does to people. I don't want any of those things done to me, so I would much rather. <laughs> that's you know, I've just throwing. seen the, I've just seen the trailers, yeah. and I'm like, wait, that kid. Like, I'm gonna be like, it's a kid. He's not. I can't hurt a kid, and then he just mutilates me and kills me. So the other ones, like even Captain Marvel, I'm like, Captain Marvel's a good guy, so she's not gonna kill me. Exactly. Yeah, but she, so, she may so, hurt me, but I'm not gonna die a gruesome death from her. <laughs> I mean, you might. Not, not if I'm like, ah, I give up. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I, that's that's kind of my feeling about most of them. They they probably wouldn't kill me. Yeah. Um, but but I mean, and I kind of thought the same thing with Pennywise. Like, ah, oh, maybe I maybe I could take him. Um, <laughs> probably not. But um, but like it'd be like one chomp and I'd be dead. But like Brightburn kid like just mutilates people. So I was like, mm. no, I don't want to fight that. Yeah, <laughs> I think last year we had Jessica Jones on the list, and I, I, I remember selecting her because I was like, I don't want to fight a girl. Because <laughs> so. you don't want to. I am. Get beat I'm up by equal a girl? opportunity. <laughs> exactly. For anyone to beat me up. That's I don't want to get mutilated by a child. <laughs> Children creep me out, anyways, in movies and stuff. <laughs> you got two. No, no, uh, no they're cute. Mostly the faceless children, <laughs> the standing corners. We've talked about that before. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, that's my rule with movies. If there's like kids or or like animals that get um, hurt or whatever, I don't like to watch it. We started mm-hmm. to watch a movie the other night, and the the first scene was a of a dog, and I'm like, nope, <laughs> I turned the movie off. No, was it called The Wild? No, it was <laughs> it was Maw. Um. Uh... I don't know. We, uh, because I looked we, it up and she does something to the dog and I'm like, nope, I'm not going to watch that. We watched the new Child's Play. Um, it was like a 99 cent rental. Oh. And there's a cat oh. in it. And the moment I saw the cat, I was like, oh, that cat's dying. How do they that do that? Anyways, so we're getting off track here. Yeah. <laughs> so Cajun doesn't want to fight Captain Marvel and he sort of wins because that's what everybody else chose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chris and I... <laughs> Oh, we're, we're doing even, a point system now. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's all about winning, isn't it? Well, if we had 12.5%, how many is that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to look because it tells how many people voted. <laughs> <I'll do> three. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move right along. Everybody has said in the comments and on, our, on all our social media that Katrin is the funny one of the three of us. It's perfect that is true. for me to do. He's, that he's, true. They've said it many times. Yes. So, Katrin, I think you should take this next category. Let's do yeah. it. Funniest Katrin's... moment in a movie. The nominees are Scary Doors moment. <laughs> I... <laughs> it, oh. Chapter 2. Waste. I about said IT Chapter 2. <laughs> um, because so, that's what I work so in. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Call the police moment. Us. Never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Thor intro, Avengers Endgame, Fury gets his scar, not the not the uh, not the lion, uh, Captain Marvel, too far away to hear villain Shazam. What'd you say? I couldn't hear you. <clears throat> C3PO, I'm okay. Scene, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, and the last nominee is caught with his pants down, Spider Man Far From Home. There we go. And there you go. And the winner is... Oh, 
Oh, by a large margin, by 56.5% per, 56. of the votes is Fat Thor intro Avengers Endgame. Now, what did we have as the... Um, the uh, we, we called this something else before, like... Broth or... Broth or... Because they don't want people to call him fat. Yeah, that's yeah. Marvel's and Disney's stance on it. He's Broth or... Yeah. Because, yeah, we can't call him fat, even mm-hmm. though he's fat. P-H-A-T fat. <laughs> yeah. How did you all vote on this one? Um, I think I did go with Fat Thor intro. I went because you know Fat Thor is funny when you first see him, but then it's sort of sad. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I, that's the reason I didn't choose that one because I'm like it's funny, but it's sad at the same time. So again, this is the funniest moment in the movie. Mm-hmm. So for me, because I haven't seen us. Uh... So yeah, you know, the call of police. Um. Um moment is um a a woman's getting attacked in it and she's got like a siri or whatever yeah and so she's like so she she can't really speak at the moment so she's trying to yell out siri or whatever call the police and it starts and it goes okay playing f the police by this gangster (laughs) Oh, <laughs> and it starts playing nice. that. It's kind of funny. Is that movie good? Is that <laughs> a movie that I would like? Hmm. There are, <laughs> chil- there are children in it. Yeah, that's why. There are some creepy children in it. Yeah, that's why I was sort of hesitant. Oh, uh, I don't know. Anyways, all right. So I, 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 I think I chose um, Caught with His Pants Down, Spider Man Far From Home. Because I thought that scene was hilarious. And just so, like, out of nowhere. And. It was funny because the way that you know he Tom Holland portrays Peter Parker is this awkward teenager, and then there's this big mm-hmm. blonde woman that's like, "Take your clothes off," and he's just like, "What?" So <laughs> I really like that one. Um, anyways, who's is anybody accepting this award? Probably not. Probably not. I chose the C three PO. Oh, did you? I about chose that yeah because. Yeah, that was funny. I'm okay. They fall from yeah. in, through a hole or whatever it was. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I about chose that one too because uh, it was really funny. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, um, I, I'm accepting this award is um, Krusty the Clown. Krusty the Clown. No. He doesn't know it. Okay. <laughs> I Oh, you, you want me to do Krusty the Clown? <laughs> I was going to see if you could do it, just out of the blue. No, uh, I'd probably not. <laughs> if I try to do Krusty, it's probably going to come out sounding like Barney. <laughs> you <do>. Hey, kids! <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a little Barney in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's move along. Uh, uh, best... What did I just see? Moment. Did I just see? Hmm. No. No. What? What? No. no. It's his favorite character. Um, Love it. Uh, and the nominees are... Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> what did I just see? <laughs> Olaf recaps Frozen in Frozen 2. The Scrolls. Spider-Man Far From Home. Went for the head. Adventures Endgame. Fat or Brothor, if you want to be politically correct. <laughs> from Adventures <laughs> Endgame. The Flurkin from Captain Marvel. Mm. And the Scout Trooper punches the child of the Mandalorian. Or Baby Yoda. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and with 59.1%. How'd the 1% Ooh. come in? 0.1. I don't know. Of the vote was Scout Trooper punches the child from the Mandalorian. What did I just see? A lot of people hated on that. Oh, yeah. Uh, What? He punched the kid? Uh, I'm going to get on Twitter and I'm going to yell at people. (laughs) They're like, what did I just see? That's what they said. That's what I said. Yeah. When I saw it. 
exactly what you said. It's like, what did that's I just why see? it's on this list. When you're like, <laughs> what did I just see? I don't think that's, that's going on the list. Yeah, I didn't pick that one though. I didn't either because I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. It, it's a, it's a, it's not real. Can you hit it all I you mean, want? I mean, listen more? to the listen to the dog pound. They're not even happy about that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to mute. They're voicing. They're, they're like, no, that that uh, that was funny. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I, I did pick Scout Trooper. I almost picked Olaf Recaps Frozen. Oh. Uh, because it just kind of came out of nowhere. It was just hilarious. And I was like, what's going on? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I picked um, I picked the scrolls because that was like sort of a surprising moment in Far From Home. It was very surprising. So that's why I picked the what did I just see? Because I was like, what? That came out of... I mean, I remember when I first saw it going, what? That, they were them the whole time? Dun, dun, dun. That that got nine point one percent of the vote. So, uh, yeah, the went for the head, and Olaf recaps Frozen. Yeah, tied, tied for second. Yeah, I need to go back and watch in game. I haven't watched it since the theater, really. So, uh, I'm watch it watch again. Again. Uh, but and here to present or here to accept the award, um, is the child. Really quiet. He's really quiet. Uh, he's he's approaching the stage. He's doing he's the little, um, he's in the magic hand thing. Yeah, he's he's. I mean, he's slow. He's small. He's he's got to the mic. We got to lower the mic. Hold on, lower the mic. Why are you? No, the, don't choke Katrin. He's our friend. Don't. Why are you choking Katrin, child? Baby Yoda, what are you doing? Quit choking Katrin. Uh, Okay. Um, All right. Katrin, is is he still breathing? I think. Uh, oh, can, baby, baby Yoda, could you use the magic hand things on him? Uh, heal him, bring him back to life. All right, Katrin, are you okay? I'm okay. All right. Oh gosh, that was a close one. <laughs> that was. Katrin seems very concerned. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> must be. Must having him all the time. <laughs> Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda, the child just accepted the award, but oh, yeah. he was and he was choking you accidentally. Yes, he thought you were uh, going to punch. He him. does that. We gave him a little ball. He's fine now. He's yeah. He's it's okay. Cajun. <laughs> we gave Cajun. This is a so ball. ridiculous. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah. We're good. It's entertainment, folks. Man, uh, we have some of the board. greatest. We have some of the greatest fans in the world. You know, mm. we do. I don't know if we call them fans, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like Hunter or um, Harbor Breeze or oh, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my hand. <laughs> um, if only there was a category for movie servicing fans. <laughs> <laughs> we can't well, talk about those movies. <laughs> you know what? It just so happens there is a category. What? No, I know. It's called Best Fan Service Scene. Oh. Well, there we and, go. And I'll tell you the nominees right now. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and the nominees for this Best Fan Service Scene are... Can you say Delicioso? <laughs> <laughs> From Dora. My, my personal favorite. <laughs> the, the Stephen King cameo in It Chapter 2. The Stanley cameo in Avengers Endgame. The Leia training scene from Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. The end credits scene from Jumanji The Next Level. Uh, Jedi's Weapon Deserves More Respect from uh, uh, Rise of Skywalker. And uh, the letters are getting cut off, but I'm thinking it's the scout troopers can't shoot anything. Yes, <laughs> you're correct. <laughs> They missed the Mandalorian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the letters are getting cut off. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yes, that is the, the scene. Okay, if I hold my phone this way, I can see it back. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the card. If I hold the card, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. yeah. see it better. Uh, and the winner goes to with 54.2%. 
is scout troopers can't hit anything from the Mandalorian. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That was such a great scene. That was scene yes. had that me was great. cracking up. That was hilarious. I I can't believe that they did that. Like it was it, it was so making fun of themselves. Yeah. So much that they I yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing that, do that Star Wars. it was subtle too. That it wasn't overdone. You know? no. Yes. I still want to know though. They couldn't shoot the tin can that was five feet at the most in front of them. But somehow on a speeding bike, they killed. Um, no. They just ran well, over him. Yeah. No, he was like smoking. He, he, <laughs> he was, was like, smoking. He was smoking. Well, that's because we the, don't know. The tailpipe in the back of the speeder, because they have tailpipes. I mean, caught him on fire. Yeah, we don't we don't know what happened. Yeah, they could have set him on fire after they ran him over. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That, just, that part, I was like, what? Well, I guess. But that that I think that was that was the the moment that I picked as the best fan service because I mean, for many many years, that's been the running gag in Star Wars yeah. is that stormtroopers can't hit anything. Yeah, I picked that one too. Yeah, because they never hit anything. The Leia training came in with sixteen point seven percent. Delicioso. Delicioso. I love that part. That we uh, <laughs> we went to see that movie. I think it was. Um, I'm trying to think if it was like a birthday party or something. I don't remember, but um, I was surprised that it was a decent movie, and uh, that was just a really funny part. Can you say delicioso? And then the the family sitting around the table, and they're like, "Who are you talking to?" <laughs> <laughs> this was funny. That's good. And uh, here to accept the award. Oh no! <laughs> is Jason. one of the scout troopers himself. Oh, Jason Sudeikis. Yeah, Jason Sudeikis. Come on, take in. it, Jason Sudeikis. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> is that how he talks? <laughs> wow, I've, I've got a little Jason cold. <laughs> Thank you for this award. I really liked uh, trying to shoot that tin can. And uh, did I punch Baby Yoda? Or was that the other guy? Uh, I don't remember, but it was fun. Congrats. <laughs> I'll perform myself. Bye. Uh, wow. Jason Snakes. And <laughs> apparently really drunk off of cold medicine. <laughs> <laughs> You put me on the but spot. The I couldn't remember what it sounded like. <laughs> what do you mean? That wasn't you. That was Jason Sudeikis. I uh, guess. Jason Sudeikis couldn't remember what he sounded like. He has so That's many. He's, he's the man of many voices. He really oh, is. Probably not. Not that at all. Voice. No. Oh, yeah. Regular Mel Blank. That guy. Do it all. <laughs> all right. Well, we're on to the darker side of the geekies. We're going to pull back the curtain, walk down the long alley in the darkness. What was that that I hear over my shoulder? Could it be the Best Villain Award? Why, yes, it is, Ryan. (laughs) Best Villain. The nominees are Emperor Palpatine, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, (laughs) Thanos, Avengers Endgame, Mysterio Spider-Man, Far From Home, Rex Danger Vest, The Lego Movie 2, the second part, Pennywise, It, Chapter 2, and... Go ahead. I'm sorry, I, I can't read this one. Uh, you, got this. you got it. We believe in you. You can do it. Adelaide Wilson, slash Red. Hey, 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 hey you're on? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was already having trouble with It again. I was going to say IT, but it's just... It's just Part of my everyday vocabulary. Okay. So the winner is, by a pretty large margin, by 50% of the votes, uh, is Thanos of Even- Avengers. Avengers in the game. Thanos of Avengers in the game. He's just so good. <laughs> Congratulations. Is that his, um, his makeup artist? <laughs> yes, I'm so happy to accept this award. <laughs> Thanos was the perfect villain. You know, he come in, he sit down in my seat. Wasn't he I like the, CGI? I do the little makeup. Oh no, it's real. Everything is real. 
he's, he's all there. I'm pretty sure he's in the CGI category later on, animated character. <laughs> no, they, they just, they, they, it's a mistake. That's, it's no good. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, thanks, he's, anyways. He's, he's, a, he's a really good guy, even though he's the villain. But putting on the makeup is so good. It's beautiful, man. Beautiful, man. Well, thanks for accepting the award, uh, random Italian man. Are you welcome? It's me. Mario? <laughs> no, my my name is 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 George. I don't. <laughs> you don't know was, any Italian was, names. Do you? It was a Mario. I don't know. <laughs> George the thanks, Italian. Anyway, thanks for coming in. That wasn't horrible at all. <laughs> Wow, that's the most Italian person I've ever heard. Yeah, it was. <laughs> please, <laughs> please don't quit listening now, people. <laughs> listeners. Apologize for that. <laughs> oh, Who, that was good. No, it was good. Spot on, spot on Italian. Whoever that yeah. guy was. So, who did you guys pick? <laughs> uh, I did pick Thanos. Um, you would. I <laughs> would. I know. It's just. It was. It was a culmination. Um, of everything, just now. Do you think he was the best villain of that overall for the Marvel movies, or or would you say if you just singled out that movie, he was the best villain of of the group that we have here? That's who I picked. No, no, I'm just asking. I'm just making conversation here. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, out of all the Marvel movies, I don't know if he's the best villain, but I, I no, I mean, uh, so like of just that movie versus the rest of the movies we have listed. Was he like the the meanest best villain of just Avengers Endgame, or were you taking into account? Well, uh, yeah, these other the whole, ones uh, with the whole with, Avenger Avenger saga. With the ones like listed here, he was yeah, what, yeah. I don't know anything about Adelaide Wilson Flash Red, so too messed up. What? He's messed up? Is that what he said? Messed up. Um, <laughs> I guess I need to watch that movie or something. I don't even remember who I picked. I don't know if I picked Thanos or if I picked Mysterio. That would probably be the only other one I would pick. Mysterio would have been the other one I would have picked. Yeah. Mm. I think I picked uh, Rex Danger Vest because I think that's one that I added to the list. Yeah, you added that yeah. one. <laughs> I, may have, I may have picked Mysterio because I was thinking... Not only was he a great villain, but he got all the good, the big good guys to believe that he was a good guy. Well, <clears throat> technically, he didn't get Nick Fury. Well, I know, but you don't <laughs> find that out till later. <laughs> they did report on him to Nick Fury, though, right? And he was like, okay, whatever. Well, I think later, yeah, I don't know. He didn't really care. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he tricked Spider-Man. Yeah. And he tricked the scrolls. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> so Farmer Thanos wins? Farmer Thanos wins. Fifty percent. Uh speaking, speaking of, of Thanos, Thanos people. <laughs> <laughs> Beat you to it. Oh. We got best animated character. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Rick Flair? Uh, and the nominees are Borky from Toy Story 4. What? No. I know. Uh, Pikachu from Detective Pikachu. Pika Pika! Alita from Alita Battle Angel. Hi, I'm Alita. <laughs> she is. Uh, Yeti. Yeti, 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 Yeti. <laughs> Jesper from Klaus. That's my gold! <laughs> That's totally the character. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Link from Missing Link. Hi, I'm Mr. Link. Have you seen Princess Zelda? <laughs> yep, sounds just like Zach Galifianakis. Thanos from Avengers Endgame. <laughs> Hi, I'm Thanos. <laughs> there he is. And Olaf. <laughs> From Frozen 2. Mm. Water carries memories. <laughs> oh. Olaf turned into a psycho killer. <laughs> and the winner with 37.5% goes to my favorite and yours. <laughs> yes. Forky. What? No. 
Oh, I don't like that character anyway. Uh, <laughs> what? Is he uh, trash to you? Is he trash to you? He's trash to me. <laughs> now, Forky asked a question on Disney Plus is hilarious. And you saw that and you even laughed. I, I chuckled a couple times. You laughed. <laughs> it was funny. It, it was it was some entertainment. Uh, <laughs> I did not vote for Porky. What? No. I uh, no. I actually voted for Mr. Link for Missing Link. What? Uh, no. Yes, because that was because um, I, I saw the movie. I like the movie. It's stop motion. And I saw like a behind the scenes thing on like the armature they used for this thing that they could get squash and stretch out of it. Mm. It was amazing. Um, and I like the character too. I like Zach Galifianakis. He did a good job in it. So who's, so Jess- who's Jesper? Uh, the movie Klaus. It's on Netflix uh, about Santa. Who's Jesper? Jesper was the post worker guy. <laughs> the post. Oh, I didn't see yeah. Klaus. That was two day. That was two D animated. Um, uh, pretty much made to look like three D. Oh. Uh, but yeah, Olaf came in twenty five percent after that. Um, Samantha. And then Thanos. <laughs> I don't even know what Samantha. That was like probably my favorite <laughs> thing of Frozen Two. That was so <laughs> hilarious. Samantha. <laughs> I don't even know what Samantha. Anyway, so uh, you're accepting the award for best animated character is uh, the animator from who, whoever won Forky's animator. I just forgot who won. Forky, Forky won. What? No. Oh golly! <laughs> oh, there's the animator. I can't believe that we won this. I just had so much fun animating that character. I wanted to use a, a butter knife, but um <laughs> <laughs> this is why I can't do this. <laughs> You're all out of butter knives. <laughs> The animators lost. I told me I had to. Here's a spork. So, question: You know why they called it uh, Sporky or Forky? Is it a Sporky? Well, I wanted to call it the, the Sporky, but <laughs> they told me that it looked more like a fork than a spoon. <laughs> Animator brought his dog with him. That was a hyena in the background. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over here. But uh, anyways, we uh, we had a lot of fun. I took the idea from a thing that my daughter made um, out of a, a, a f- fork. <laughs> a, a, a fork. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thumbs up every animator ever. And, uh, okay. you know, it's just a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah. Well, thank you very much. Somebody play the music. Get him, get him, off. Get him off stage, please. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the anim- I love that the person that animated uh, Forky also came up with the character. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it hardly ever cool. happens. No. Sometimes they get to do that. Sometimes they get to decide how things get animated and things. That's a big surprise, if you know what I mean. That is. That's a surprise to me. It's yeah. a huge surprise hit. Well, Forky was. Biggest yeah. surprise hit? Ah. Maybe? I don't know, but that could be our next category. Biggest surprise hit what? of 2019. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> so this is a movie that um, nobody had. Well, people just, it just sort of came out of nowhere and everybody loved it, right? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, they, they didn't have high hopes for it, or it just kind of like they didn't re- realize it was really coming to theaters, and suddenly it's like, oh, that's pretty good. Can I can I have a can I put a write in vote right now? A write in uh, movie? Sure, it, it won't win, but you well, can put it in. Yeah, I just, I'm just gonna plug a movie. What's the streaming? <laughs> right here because it it falls under this category. 
biggest surprise hit. Uh, I watched the movie yesterday. I started watching that yesterday. I watched it. not yesterday, but I, I started it, watching it yesterday. When did you watch it? Um, not yesterday, but it was a few days ago. The day before? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember what day. Um, <laughs> when was it? Uh, it was a few days ago. Anyways, it's a movie about uh, this guy that basically get hit, that um, something happens in the world and everybody forgets who the Beatles are except for this guy and Coke. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to give away the movie. <laughs> I was just going to no spoilers. <laughs> Anyway, and, and he starts <laughs> he starts singing the Beatles songs, and people think that he wrote them. So he becomes this big um, breakout star. Anyways, I think I'm just going to go out on a limb. Maybe one of my favorite movies from the past year. It was Uh-oh. so good. I loved it. I loved everything about it. It was an original story, which I loved. It wasn't like just you know copying something else that's been done. Um. Just the whole everything that happens, um, stuff that has been, you know, forgotten, and just how they set the story up and how they did everything. I loved it, and you should check it out. Too bad you didn't watch it last year; it could have been on the list. I know, oh. I know, <laughs> but I'm serious. Go check it out. I think I rented it on Amazon. Highly recommend it. And then, if you like the Beatles music. Uh, yeah. That's just another added bonus. You get to hear. If you don't like the Beatles music, then something is wrong with you because they're the Beatles. <laughs> if you're flying uh, Southwest, it's it's on the Southwest um, movies that you can watch for free on their app. So yeah, yeah. All the movies, so. But anyways, it was a great story, like telling movie. Like it was a great story. Uh, yeah, highly recommend it. Katrin, you should finish watching it. I need to. The, the Wi-Fi got uh, just decided to stop working on the uh, flight I was on, so I was so mad. I did like, you? Man. Did you? Did you like what you saw? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. how far along in it? Uh, uh, he had just finished recording the record, I guess. So not uh, far at all. <laughs> I put it up. So this is this is how much I liked it. For musical movies, I put it up there with like um, that thing you do. Oh gosh, I was hoping you weren't going to say that. See, I, I don't know about that. Not not saying oh. that it was better or just like in my. If I'm going to put like movies, like if I'm going to put musical, if I'm going to make uh five mu- musical movies that I take to an island, mm. I would put probably those two. Spinal Tap and Spinal Tap, and uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it was. It was good what I saw. I guess I I wasn't blown away by it, but I didn't see it as a whole. So I yeah, you got to watch the whole make movie a, because a fair judgment on it. It, so. it was by the end that it, that it, it sort of like became like a really great movie about yeah. music. Like towards yeah. the beginning, like you like where you are, I was like, yeah, this is good. But then mm-hmm. they hit you with one little thing at the end, and I'm just like, oh oh crap, <laughs> that's amazing that they did it like that because mm-hmm. they didn't have to do it like that. Any other movie would have went a totally different direction, and this movie chose to not go to that direction, and uh, which made it a really good movie that I'd like to see again. Anyways, yeah. sorry, biggest surprise hit. Here we go. That was not <laughs> on the list. That was just a little plug oh, yeah, from me you. to you. <laughs> and if you don't like the Beatles music, it's okay that you don't like the Beatles music, but you gotta respect the Beatles because they're the Beatles. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> okay, so biggest surprise hit. Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Delicioso. Uh, Delicioso. Fighting with my family. Detective Pikachu. And Jumanji, the next level. Which I just recently saw. So okay. and, and we played and we got to be part of Jumanji. We did it at the Void, which maybe mm. we'll talk about that on another episode. Yeah, we'll have to talk. Yeah, because it was good. The Void, Jumanji, if it's near you, go do it. It was fun. We did it twice. So, <laughs> it was fun. Anyways, uh, and the winner, with 36.4% of the vote, which was a surprise to me, is the biggest surprise hit. Well, that's kind of the point. That's surprising. Uh, Jumanji, the next level. One. Which, to me, it wasn't 
a surprise hit because I figured it would be good because the first one was good. Yeah. It's surprising in the fact that, I mean, no one thought the first one would be good. It was good. But it's a sequel, and typically sequels, you know, they go down. But this one actually was really good. Yeah, it was. Um, It was hilarious. uh, I actually picked Fighting With My Family because I didn't, I'm not a wrestling fan. I didn't expect too much from it, but I really enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah, it was. If you haven't seen Fighting With My Family, again, another movie that I highly recommend. And a lot of people have seen it lately because I guess it's on for free hmm. on Amazon or somewhere. Yeah, like Hulu. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, a lot of people, I've been noticing on my social media, a lot of people have been like, hey, I watched this movie and it was wonderful and they're not wrestling fans. So even if you're not a wrestling fan, it's a good uh, story. Because I am not. Yeah. And you like I didn't it. tell you. But I, I didn't like know it. that. <laughs> <laughs> so two movies are ready for you to go watch. See, see, the thing about the Geekies is these are movies you actually want to watch, unlike the Oscars, <laughs> for the most part. So if we <laughs> recommend the movie, Ghost, and you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, Fighting With My Family and Yesterday would be the two. So And uh, Jumanji, the next level. But see the Jumanji... What was the first one? Uh, technically the jungle. second. Yeah, Go see that one first because then the next level won't make sense. So, uh, yeah, see that one. See the first rock one. <laughs> the rock. You know, the in rock is in this category twice. He was with Fight of My Family and Jumaji the Next Level. Hmm. It's awesome. He's the rock. Uh, but, speaking of the rock, he, he does things and fights and stunts. He's stunts. You say him. Um, uh, he does some of the best stunts. <laughs> Just like our next category, best stunts. Oh, I thought it was going to be something completely different. Yeah. No, I know. I kind of I, I I went one way with it. You were going to think it was something else, but then it was it was stunts. You didn't see that coming. I didn't see it coming um, at all. The the, oh. the old left right look over here there trick. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so best stunts. The nominees are. Uh, I guess it is my turn to go. I don't I'll know. Go for it. Not. <laughs> best stunts. Uh, nominees. Avengers in game. Oh. John Wick Chapter Three. Which? Which? Cha- John Wick. Oh, Wick. Chapter. Chapter Three. Uh, Spider Man Far From Home. Oh. Alita Battle Angel. Hmm. Hobbs and Shaw. Didn't see it. Yeah, but you're, but the rocks in it. Uh, oh, Jumanji, oh. the next level, which also has the rock, uh, and Terminator, Dark Fate. Oh, didn't see that. Didn't, one, didn't see that one. Um, <laughs> and the winner, sixty-one point nine percent, big margin, goes to Avengers Endgame. Did they have stunts in that movie? They I had stunts so. in it. I thought it was all CGI. So a good portion of it was, <laughs> but they did have stunts. They did, but then it was probably replaced with CGI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so CGI stunts. They loved oh, it. people loved it. Hmm. <laughs> Again, I need to go back and rewatch it. It was a great movie, but it, I haven't seen it since the theater. I mean, there, there was, there was. I mean, anytime oh, yeah. Captain America's fighting, well, I mean, more than likely it's, it's behind. You don't get a behind like that by. Not doing stunts. Yeah, and that's probably what most people voted for was yeah. caps behind. Yeah. yeah, that's our nice way of putting it. Yeah, no, I we know it had a lot of category stunts. for that. Just kidding. Yeah, there should be just a category for best, <laughs> best be- behind. behind, best behind. Cap wins every time. Every oh. time it's America's. So if America's voting, why would they vote for somebody else? That makes any sense. Hmm. Did, what did you guys vote for? I don't. I don't even remember. I probably did Avengers as well. I probably did. I don't remember actually. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember either. I know what I didn't know for. Sad. <laughs> Terminator Dark Fate. <laughs> yeah. I do want to see Hobbs and Shaw sometime. I do want to see that. I like all the Fast and Furious. Movies. You know, fun fun fact. Hmm. Never seen a Fast and Furious movie. You've not seen oh, any Fast wow. and Furious I have never seen any, any of them. I have all of them. Come up. We'll what? watch all of them. Wow. 
You got all of them? I got we got all of them. Like, Tokyo we, Drift? Yeah, well <laughs> there was a special on iTunes to buy like, you know, their movie packs or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're like, we like these movies, and we got it. We, oh, I think there was some we hadn't seen, uh, but we liked the ones we saw. Like, well, let's just get them. Let's just watch them all. Never seen any of them. I don't know why. I did this when they've been when they've come out. I've they were cheesy. Sort of like eh, they're know. cheesy popcorn fun. Like yeah. they're just yeah. They're... I have the first one, um, and I, I liked it, but it was super cheesy, and uh, but I liked it. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't watch any of them when they came out to theaters until I think yeah. it was the first one with The Rock. And we just wanted mm-hmm. to go see a movie, and that was playing. So we saw it. We're like, oh, this is actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should watch the others <laughs> and huh. see if they're any good. Now there's and, another one coming out, right? Yes. It's going to have uh, another wrestler in it. Yep, John Cena. John Cena. going to be playing the brother of uh, Vin Diesel. Oh, of course. Wow, <laughs> you guys have listed a bunch of great actors, you know. Oh, yeah. in these movies, and um, that's true. You know, we there there are some that are just better than others, and I would even say that there's some that are would be known as the best actor. Hmm. I don't. And know we what we about. actually have a category um, called best actor. We do. Oh, huh. so why don't we go through those nominees now? Oh, this is a two pager. Oh, let's do that. This is a two page. You're right. I'll have to remember to hit that Whoa. arrow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I knew that. That's great. Okay. Uh, let me go back up. There we go. I got this. <clears throat> Robert Downey Jr., Avengers Endgame. Chris Evans, Avengers Endgame. Chris Hemsworth, <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Free Larson, Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame. Tom Holland, Speederman, Far From Home, Avengers, and Avengers Endgame. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson, Avengers Endgame. Good grief. <laughs> Zachary Levy, Shazam. Avengers not is game. Avenger, no. not Avengers End- yeah, That we know of. That we know of. Right? Yeah. Wrong universe. Ja- 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 Joaquin? Ja- ja- Joaquin. Ja- Joaquin. Ja- Joaquin. He's a so to do good. Joaquin. <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix, Joker. Sorry, going to page two. Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson, no. Jumanji, <laughs> The Next Level. <laughs> Daisy Ridley, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, Adam Driver of SNL. <laughs> oh, sorry, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Oh, my goodness. And the winner is, by a margin of, well, or maybe not a margin, by 39% of I'm the votes. <laughs> not doing that math. Uh, um, the winner is Robert Downey Jr. of Avengers Endgame. Woo! Oh. Good for him. Who got who got the second place? Second place. Oh, yeah. Joaquin. 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 Joaquin Van Ox. I think Robert Downey Jr. deserves that one. I think so too. He he's done just a spectacular job with that character and like it all culminated in that movie. I'm going to say the word culminated so many times tonight. Mm. Um, yeah. I like how we had the entire cast of Avengers in game. <laughs> Basically, yeah, we just had. I feel bad we didn't have, like. Where's the... Paul Rudd? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we didn't have uh, or... we didn't Jeremy have... Renner. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> well. Yeah. Okay. Well, we didn't have a... Congratulations. Congratulations, yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Here to accept the award is the Joker. <laughs> Hello, Kiki! <laughs> Joker here! <laughs> I love to accept this award for Robert Downey Jr. of Avengers Endgame. <laughs> hey, Joker. Before you leave, I heard that you're going to be playing Skeletor. Could you give us a little bit of that? <laughs> Why, certainly. He died. <laughs> I'll get you for this. Wait a second. A little bit higher pitch, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit higher. Uh, he died. <laughs> Let's get in there. I'll get you for this. Just a little, little bit higher. He died. <laughs> I'll get you for this. No, a little lower. 
Demon, I'll get you for this. Oh, wow. Well, maybe yeah. you shouldn't. Close enough. Thanks, Joker. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. I, I like, Katrin, I like how we directed the Joker there into that, mm-hmm. you know, with his voice. I mean, I think we, we could be some of the best directors out there. Probably. Oh, I would say so. Maybe uh, even better than some of the best directors in the next category of <gasps> best director. Probably not, but we'll go with it. <laughs> and here we go. Are you ready for Ryan? This is the segment, new segment on the show. Ryan butchers everybody's name because it's about <laughs> to happen. <laughs> hey, I got to do it last year. Yeah. <laughs> so here we sit back, relax. And try to figure out who I'm actually talking about. <laughs> and the nominees for the category of Best Director. Ser- Sergio, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. Pablos and Carlos Martinez Lopez from Claws. I haven't seen the movie. <clears throat> Anthony and Joe Russo from Avengers Endgame. Got that one. Mm. David Yarvesky. Close enough. Yeah, Yarvesky. from Brightburn. John Watts from what? Spider-Man Far From Home. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris Butler from Missing Link. No J.J. Abrams? Mm. Huh. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> oh, poor J.J. Anyways, with 70.8%, this is, I mean, this isn't a, really a surprise no. of the vote. Sergio Pablos and Carlos Martinez Lopez do not win. Oh, that's sorry. It's Anthony and Joe Russo. They are the winners from Avengers Endgame with 70.8% of the vote. Sergio and and Carlos did get 8.3%. That's true. Along with Chris Butler from Missing Link. Yeah. And John John Watts got 12.5%. There you go. Good for them. Yeah. Who'd you guys vote for? Mm-hmm. Anthony and Jerusa. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody did. Well, yeah. Seventy point eight percent of people did. Mm-hmm. They did a great job with it. Yes, they did. They gave us fat <laughs> fat bro Thor. Yeah. <laughs> and on on your left. Yeah. And here's the accept award. <laughs> I don't know. Uh their their PA personal assistant. Um, uh, Carl. Take it away, Carl. Hey, is this what? Coffee. We need a coffee for Joe. No, he likes it dark. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> like you know. No, Carl, we don't. <laughs> yeah, he likes it dark. With a little bit Tell of sugar. With a little bit of sugar. Anthony, no, he likes it. He likes a blondie, yeah, and a cupcake. I don't know. He wants the cupcake and the coffee. What am I doing here? Oh, um, thank you on behalf of Anthony, or as I like to call him Tony and JoJo. The coffee's coming. It's it's coming. You've got to let it steep or whatever you do. I don't. I don't make coffee. All right, see you guys. I gotta go make some coffee. Wow. That's what a PA does. Thank you, Carl. Huh? I thought that was like the arena announcer guy, the PA. No, uh, <laughs> personal assistant. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Wow, we're just full of it tonight, huh? Well, something. Wow, we got, uh, we got more categories. I thought that would be the last one. No, nope. yeah, you would think, <laughs> but <laughs> not on the geekies. One would hope, but it's still going. <laughs> there's a there's a long history of long categories uh, in the geekies. Uh, so much history, it mystery. almost brings it to life. It's like our next category, the best show that brings history to life. History to life. There's songs still everywhere. Uh, and the nominees are... The Curse of Oak Island. Oh. Expedition Unknown. Ooh. Ancient Aliens. Ah. Mysteries at the Museum. Eee. 
Project Blue Book. I. The Imagineering Story. Oh. And the World According to Jeff Goldblum. You. <laughs> exactly. And the winner with 54.5% of the vote oh. is the Imagineering Story. Yay! Yay! Lots of Disney Plus owners voting. Billions of them. <laughs> Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I agree with this. I, I actually voted for the Curse of Oak Island. You would, because I would, because I like that show. And it's fun. but you're like an animator. You should have voted for that type of stuff. Imagineer. Uh, hey, hey, we're different. We're all different. Or we don't. Just... We don't all sound like like whatever that guy sounded like before. One animator, the animator Forky. <laughs> oh yeah, what did he sound like? Is he still backstage? I'm sure he is. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm still here. Um, oh, yeah. Well, since you're here, you might mean, as well accept this award. I would like to accept the this story. award for the Imagineering story. You know, funny story. <laughs> we were shooting that show, and we uh, we like to um, sometimes play tricks on each other, and. Uh, I like to to just kind of throw in a little pepper into their coffee. <laughs> get Man, another coffee did they sneeze. <laughs> but anyway, why would they sneeze? Thank you so much. <laughs> this is pepper. Yeah, it's in the coffee. <laughs> pepper. It's in the coffee, though. It's like you blew up their nose. I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways what, what was your favorite the moment imag- in the imaginary story my favorite moment was when we talked about all of the uh, other countries where we have uh, the disney worlds and lands and uh it was just a lot of fun talking about those things that are going on there and <laughs> you got your dog with you today my dog's up here with me, and he just is. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, Gus, Gus, shut your mouth. <laughs> Daddy's talking. Daddy's talking. Shut your mouth. Yes. Um, yeah, he's not going to stop, so I'm going to stop, I guess. Okay. And uh, my microphone. But thanks for the award. Yeah. <clears throat> so. The, same animator, animated Forky, also worked on the Imagineering <laughs> story. story. Who would have thought it's it? amazing? Yeah, I don't remember any him. utensil based um, scenes in that. So, why did you pick Curse over Imagineering Story? Uh, I just, uh, it's just, it's a, it's ongoing history to me, I guess. Uh, it's, it, but it's really interesting that the stuff that they find, because they actually do find some stuff. They're, they haven't found like the treasure or anything, but they've found. <laughs> Some inter- interesting history things to that think, area. Do you think they'll ever find the treasure? I don't know. I, uh, it, it depends on what they find. If it was like some kind of like paperwork and like things made of <laughs> paper. Well, I mean, there's like there's there's talk about like there's like the works of lost works of Shakespeare maybe be buried under there. Or something what? Like that. Why? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. But if it was something like that, I think it's like long dissipated. They found like scraps of paper. They have like found scraps of paper buried like thousands upon thousands of feet underground. Um, huh. But um, maybe not thousands and thousands, but a long way underground that shouldn't be there. Um, Man, the thing I liked about the imaginary story was that each at the end of each ever, like they bring you up and you're all like happy, and then it's it's like the last minute of the show, and they're like, and then this horrible thing yeah. happened. And then you're like in tears, and you're like, "What's happening here? Why am I crying over this documentary?" Yeah, for real. And then they bring you back up, and then they tear you back down again. Yeah. And then they spoil their new ride mm-hmm. by the end. You know, <laughs> yeah that that was the most frustrating part because I did I I guess I should have known because they were talking about the the Galaxy's Edge, and I was like, "Oh, they're they're going to talk about this." Oh. Didn't want to know all that. <laughs> if I had to vote for another one, it probably would have been the world according to Jeff Goldblum. 
Yeah, that's and a good one. It was it was neck and neck for first place there for a little bit. And then Imagining Star pulled ahead. Oh, it was. Yeah, look at there. <laughs> that's probably my fault. Probably. Huh. I was between those <laughs> two and I picked Imaginary Story. Just because of the emotion that it like drew out of you. You know, one of the the things that the uh, Imagineering story does is they really kind of point out some of those sci-fi things that they do at the parks and, mm. and the super, they don't really have a lot of superheroes, but, but the, you know, there are superheroes that work on it. Yeah. They're, Everybody that exactly. works on those there. guys are superheroes. They're superheroes. And you know, that kind of leads us to this next category, best sci-fi superhero TV show. And let's see oh. if I can do this without my dog parking again. Um, so the cat, the, the, the nominees are the flash. Is it Arrow or The Arrow? Arrow. All right. Arrow. Arrow. The Witcher. The Mandalorian. Game of Thrones. The Expanse. I don't know The Expanse. Stranger Things 3. The Umbrella Academy. Umbrella Academy. Oh, on page two. Uh, page two. Legends of Tomorrow. Krypton. Castle Rock. And Daylight. And the winner is with fifty percent of the votes. Yeah, this one shouldn't be a shocker for most of us. I'm I'm actually kind of surprised that it didn't get more than that. Uh, is the Mandalorian? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, this, I thought this would be way more than fifty percent. Well, yeah. I think it's because not. I mean, probably not everyone has Disney Plus yet. Even though we had a ton of votes for the Imagineering thing, I don't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's good though. There's some divide. I mean, there's there was some other good shows. I mean, yeah. Game of Thrones was good. What's, I've Stranger never heard Things. of that show. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> Stranger Things three was a good season. Where's um, all the votes for the Flash? Mm. They're moving so fast you can't see them. Oh. <laughs> oh. When I first saw the green, I thought it was the Umbrella Academy one, and I'm like, "How? What?" <laughs> <laughs> but that was a good show too. It is that good was show. a good show. Yeah, but coming yeah. back for season two. Mm-hmm. Oh, they are. Yeah, yes. good. Good. I never know with those shows. Like I'll watch yeah, the show and I really like it, and they're like, "Yeah, we're not going to make another season." Yeah, like, it could be scary. You, you scary. could be horrified. It's like yeah, it's not going to come, come back. back. So scared. It's not coming back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so would it be like, uh, like if you made a movie about scary things? Yes. Sort of like a genre? Mm-hmm. Of Your type of film. Horror! <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got for you. The next category is the best horror. I, I, I always... Sound like I'm going to say something else when I say that word. Horror movie of all time. <laughs> no, of 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how many of these I haven't seen. And the nominees are Brightburn. Haven't seen it. Happy Death Day to You. I have seen that one. It Chapter <laughs> 2 or the IT Crowd Chapter 2. <laughs> I have seen that one. Midsummer. I haven't seen it. Don't want to see it. <laughs> Ready or Not. Saw it. Liked it. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Didn't see it. Don't like spiders crawling out people's face. <laughs> <laughs> Pet Cemetery. I, if you know me, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a movie you'd want to watch. You know, I'll never watch that one. And Us. Didn't see it, but sort of want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I kept my film reviews for the movie there. Movies. Uh, with fifty-seven point nine percent of the vote. IT crowd chapter two <laughs> or it chapter two wins it. They take it home. Wow. Nice. Wow. Fifty seven point nine. I'm a little surprised, yeah, about how much they won. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not what I picked. Even you though picked I didn't like Happy it. Death Day you picked too. Happy Death Day 2. I did because it was a fun there, movie. Because there's like one vote for <laughs> 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 it was a fun that you'd have to watch Happy Death Day to watch Happy Death I Day. I did too. like Happy Death Day. I did like the first one. I want to see the second. If one. you like the first one, you'll you'll like the second one. And even yeah. my wife watched it, and she was like, "This is fun." I liked it. Um, so yeah, it's like a fun like Groundhog Day type movie. 
mm-hmm. but set in a sort of like a horror. Thing. I watched that one. I really liked it. And I really liked Ready or Not. It was fun. I want to see that too. It's really good. It's sort of like Clue, sort of a little bit. Nice. Um, with the horror theme uh, or thriller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're 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 looking really animated as you're. Oh, we're moving on. Wow, I guess we're moving oh. on. <laughs> Oh, we can't. What, we, we don't, we don't have to. Do we have anyone accepting the award? I don't know. Do we? No, because the the clown's dead. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, that's true. The and then the dead. second guy that was gonna do it, he's he's dead too. So, oh, it, was it, it wasn't the wardrobe category. assistant. No. Oh well, I could see if they're in the back. I think it's the same guy that animated Forky. Hold on. <laughs> I don't think it was. You don't think, you don't think, I think it was. Well, maybe, maybe it was. I don't He's know. got multiple jobs. I mean. No, He's we got... had um, lots of uh, yellow slickers that we tried out for the kids to wear. And uh, we chose this one. And uh, I think that really made the difference in the movie. That's a good story. And then the, we... Uh, we also blew up lots of balloons, lots of balloons. Uh, we had to blow them all up every day uh, for each shot. And uh, I, I, you kind of, you know, when you blow a balloon up and it, you do it wrong and it kind of hurts. And um, we decided what? to then buy a what? bottle of air to, to do that. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever had that happen when a blow up balloon no, hurts. No, I don't think I've ever. Where I've are you blowing a balloon up at? It, what now? <laughs> <laughs> you telling me you haven't what? hurt yourself blowing up a balloon? I don't think we've ever caught your name. What's your name? I didn't give you my name. <laughs> Is it well? What should we call you, Mister oh. Forky's da- Forky's dad? I don't know. <laughs> Is it true? This well, is this is a rumor I heard behind the scenes rumor about. The IT chapter two, it chapter two, is that this is where you first got the idea for Forky. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> that is totally false. Oh, okay. Next question. <laughs> no more questions. You're free to go. No more questions. Yeah. You can Great. Go Thanks for having me. Okay. See you. Back so you need to come back and. Yeah, uh, I'm sure you're. You'll be <laughs> down some. <laughs> We're soon. We'll see you soon. Because, because just like you and your animation yeah. that you've done, there's a whole category. Best animated movie. And by looking at it, I have a feeling you're going to be right back. So just stay on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Nominees are <laughs> Frozen 2, Toy Story 4, Abominable, Missing Link, how to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, I think. Uh, Klaus. Claus. I'm not sure. I think it's, I don't know. Claus. Claus. <laughs> the Lego Movie 2, the second part. Spies in Disguise. Page 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lion King. And Secret Life of Pets 2. Lion King, wasn't, wasn't that a real life movie? I thought that was a live action movie. Live I thought action. that was live action. I'm a little confused Why is on it that. in a best animated category? I don't know. It's very confusing. Huh. Uh, and the winner... I was surprised by this. I am surprised too because I didn't pick it. <laughs> uh, with 30.4% Toy Story 4. Mm, no. No. <laughs> the dog is surprised too. I, uh, I mean, I didn't pick that. I actually picked Frozen Two on this one. It had lovely animation. I didn't like the movie though. Um, I, I picked Missing Link. I think I haven't seen uh, Missing Link, so I picked I the one a little different. I, uh, yeah, I just the Toy Story Four. I just couldn't get behind the story. No. And you know what? Recently, we're we're having a Disney playlist go in the car on a trip that we're going to, and the kids want to listen to Disney music because that's all they ever want to listen to. So that's all I have to listen to all the time. Anyways, um, and you got a friend in me came on. You got a friend in me. That Toy Story four makes that the darkest, saddest song known to man. Because the song is all about 
I'm your friend. I'm never going to leave you. We're buddies till the end. And then what does Woody do? He leaves Buzz behind. <laughs> leaves him. For a woman. Yeah. So <laughs> so long to you got a friend in me. You got an acquaintance in me now that shows mm. they send you a Christmas card. That's it. Probably doesn't even do that. Probably doesn't because he's a toy. Where's he? Where's he getting a stamp from? Yeah. Made that song so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Not friends anymore. And uh, I'm sure accepting this award, <laughs> since we have an animator here that worked on Toy Story Four. I no wait, hold on. This is in. Oh, huh? I'm sorry. He's dead. <laughs> Oh, oh no! I think he worked himself to death. He it, it was forking crazy. Wow! But here to present the award is the man or the spork himself, Forky. What? No. Forky, ask a question. Forky, <laughs> ask a question. There, somebody did it for me. <laughs> what is award? Just the way the cookie crumbles. That's all. That's all I know. It wasn't Forky. It was me. It was me the oh. whole time. Oh wow! Did that mean you killed the animator guy? Uh, yes. Oh, oh. he that was very right. bad. It was an accident. I'm sure he'll be back though. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. No. But that takes us to our. Is this our last category? This is it. We're at the oh. final category. So we don't have a best picture for 2019, do we? We just have the best well, sci-fi superhero movie of 2019. That's kind of our yeah, thing, that's right? our thing. Yeah, I guess so. I mean... I bet the other ones have best picture. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, here we go. Best sci-fi slash superhero movie. Slasher. No. 2019. The nominees are... I hope the animator comes back at the end of this. <laughs> hope his ghost makes an appearance. Anyways, so just get ready for that. <laughs> uh, the nominees for Best Sci-Fi Superhero Movie of 2019. Avengers Endgame. Spider-Man Far From Home. Shazam! Captain Marvel. Alita Battle Angel. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And the Joker. Oh, with you were six, censored on that one. Yeah, with censored it's the Joker. With sixty-two point five percent of the vote. Say it with me now. <laughs> <laughs> Jumanji. Oh no! no. 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 Okay. Avengers Endgame. <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Woo! Uh, it's, yeah. What did you guys pick? Avengers Endgame. <laughs> like, oh, I can't yeah. remember. I think I'm I probably picked that, even though I didn't really. That wasn't my favorite movie. So. I'm surprised coming in second was Shazam. Oh, I might have picked Shazam actually. I I think I picked Spider Man Far From Home. I don't remember. <laughs> I really like that movie a lot. It was really fun. It was good. Yeah. Plus, I need to see Avengers again in game. Because it was good, too. It was really good. It was yeah. a good movie. Yeah. It, it deserves the win. It deserves the win. It absolutely deserves the win. With 62.5% of the votes, you can't, you know, you can't um, argue with that. Mm-hmm. It deserves you the can, win. You can, but... You, you can. Yeah, I guess. But here okay, to accept the award for best sci-fi superhero movie is you guessed it, the ghost of the He's animator. To kill me all. <laughs> I'm bad. Oh, it sounded ghostly. Yeah. You know when we were working on this movie, the Avengers. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you worked on this movie too. Well, why else would you bring me out here? <laughs> They uh they they gave me the the great honor of animating the um, big fight scene at the end. Oh, you did the whole thing. I thought I I, I got my myself. I got my facts confused. I thought you did the funeral at the end. 
No. <laughs> I was wrong. Sorry. I was You're wrong. You're wrong. There you go. But it was a lot of fun. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Thanks for coming on the show tonight. Yeah, you're welcome. Sorry, sorry you died. Yeah, yeah. sorry you died on our show. Me too. <laughs> sorry you got on our show. <laughs> sorry you died on our show. Well, I'm sorry. Jeez. No, sorry you died on our show. Oh, died on her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry you were here. <laughs> Sorry you were born. <laughs> wow, it got dark. Well, and, um, yeah, I guess this is our, um, we wrapped up the uh, category. So I guess this is our section of the show where we remember those who've fallen <laughs> during the geekies. <laughs> the, the guy, the animator. The animator. <laughs> worked on every movie. We worked on every movie. We will remember you. I will remember you. Will you remember me? <laughs> Don't let your That's all the words I know. So. Ask me more than me. Anyways, wow. This has been a, a weird year for the geeks. I've been to... <laughs> Patriot's going to play us off in the background there. <laughs> so let us know, if do you agree with the ones that are chosen? Do you think other movies should have won? What movies did we not include? There was one movie that we didn't include that somebody said, why didn't you include that movie? Yesterday. No, I said that. No, in our on our Facebook group, somebody <laughs> said, why didn't you include yeah, this? Yeah, I don't remember what it was. And we were all like, yeah, we should have done that. Yeah. <laughs> we forgot about a movie. And obviously we've still forgotten about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I believe it might have been Greg Jones. No. I thought it was no? Vance. Vance. Oh, no, it had been Vance. Yeah. And we were like, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. It's too late. It's too late. Turn back now. I think it was a write-in. He, he did a write-in vote, but no yeah. one else. Yeah. Looking. Everybody's looking. Wow. Anyways, yeah, so as you look, so this has been the Geekies 2019. Hopefully next year, the Geekies 20, 2020. No, this has been Geekies 2020. That always confused me. It's a movie from last year, but it's in this year. Next yeah. year, let us know what you want to happen on the Geekies. Do you want us to have guests on to mm. uh, announce the winners? Do you want us to have more music? <laughs> <laughs> mm. You want the animator, uh, the animated Sporky to come back as a ghost? I guess. I don't know. Next year, what what do we have to look forward to for next year's Geekies? What movies? Can we guess, give our predictions here, and then we're going to end it. Uh, Wonder Woman found it. Oh, what was it? The Boys. The Boys the superhero TV show. <sighs> That was good. Um, I I can see Wonder Woman placing somewhere. Okay. I can see the I can see the Rock winning. The Jungle Cruise. <laughs> and yeah, this <laughs> year. Um, Ghostbusters, right? There's Ghostbusters. Be mm -hmm. on there. Um, I liked Birds of Prey myself. Yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, the Gentleman. Was a good movie that's already come out this year. That you thought came out last year? That I thought came out last year. But <laughs> actually, came out this year. Um, One of the big movies are coming out this year. So many that <laughs> we can't even remember any of them. All the movies. Oh, um, uh, Black Widow. Black Widow. Black Widow. And then we'll have another se season of Stranger Things, right? Yeah, I mean, um, a, a good movie that was on Disney Plus that we watched was uh, Timmy Failure. Was it good? Mm. It looks so weird. It was good. It was weird. It was fun. Oh. <laughs> Onward. Onward. Um, not too excited. No. <laughs> no, I'm not too excited. That's sad. I'm sure people are like, no, why aren't you excited? I just, I don't know. Just not excited for Pixar anymore. Uh, yeah. You know, but um, all we'll say <laughs> there was bad boys for life came out this year people 
seem to like it. Does it feel um, like there's not that many big blockbusters this year? As there was last year? Yeah, maybe. Because we won't have a Star Wars movie. No. There's not... I mean, there's Black Widow. But there's not... Sonic. Other huge... Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. yeah. It'll be on the um, surprise hit list. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, there hasn't been... There's. Is there going to be any other huge Marvel movies this year? I want to say there's another one. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Well... The New Mutants is going to finally come out this year. Yeah, but I mean, like... <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think they're... they're there's stuff that comes out in 2021 that I could think of, but I'm... Yeah, yeah they might be... It's... Well, the Winter Soldier and Falcon and Winter Soldier is going to be... That's Disney TV Plus, yeah. And, uh, yeah, the Loki... Loki show, WandaVision... Mm -hmm. Huh. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. We will find. Stay tuned, folks. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be talking about them. But Bill next, and Ted's. Next Bill week. and Ted's. Oh, yeah. 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 We just weren't prepared. We just don't remember. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for joining us for the for the the geekies this year, and for hopefully sticking. If you stuck with us this far. <laughs> into the episode then you deserve We're sorry you deserve <laughs> a geeky you. award and uh, just be watching your mailbox <laughs> the eternals that's marvels oh that's marvels all right all right <laughs> so next week five video games that you take to a desert island all right mm -hmm. yep so let us know on social medias what five video games you take to the desert island and then tune in next week to hear what we would take as we break it down and then come up with our top five video games that we take to a desert island. So basically the, our top video games of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, this has been I Am Geek episode 136, The Geekies. Good night, everybody. Bye.